What is a keylogger? A keylogger is a type of software, but can also be hardware that secretly tracks and records everything you type on your computer, such as passwords, emails, chats, and personal information. Once it's on your computer, it runs silently in the background, capturing everything you type and sending it to someone else, usually a hacker. They can use this information to steal your passwords, credit card details, and personal information. If the software detects that you typed in the at symbol, it could easily recognize this as you entering in an email address with the characters around that keystroke. And what do people often use email addresses for? Usernames, which means any text that you type after that email address could be a password. Or what if you type in 16 digits? This could be easily recognized as a credit card number. As we have mentioned before, there are two main types of keyloggers. Software keyloggers, which are programs installed on your computer or device that do the tracking and hardware keyloggers, the physical devices plugged into your computer, often between the keyboard and the USB port. Software keyloggers can be installed remotely, often through malware. They can be installed on your device through phishing emails that trick you into clicking on bad links and by downloading files from sketchy websites or free software that hides the keylogger. While hardware keyloggers require physical access to the computer to be installed. These can be tiny devices that someone could attach to your computer's keyboard without you knowing. They're usually harder to detect because they don't run on your system like software. These could even be hidden covers placed on ATM keypads to record your PIN while you are withdrawing money. Sometimes hidden camera keyloggers may be placed in public places like libraries to visually track keystrokes. But most of the time though, it's the software type. A keylogger captures everything you type, including passwords, credit card numbers, emails, chats, and search terms. They could steal sensitive information which could be used for identity theft, financial fraud, or spying. Keyloggers could also be used for legitimate purposes. Some parents may use them for monitoring their children's online activity, while some companies may use them to track employees' work-related tasks. But if you're using a keylogger to monitor your child or your employers, then you should tell them that you're doing that so that they are aware. Using keyloggers without permission in many cases is illegal and invasive. Now what are the warning signs that a keylogger may be on your device? The three most common signs that you may have a keylogger on your device are a slow browser, a lag in keystrokes and mouse movements, and a disappearing cursor. Some other warning signs could include your computer running slower than usual, programs or apps behaving strangely, or your keyboard acting weird, unexplained data usage, and random error messages. So how do you get rid of a keylogger if you think you've got one? First off, run a full system scan with a trusted antivirus or anti-malware program. This will help detect and remove the keylogger software. If you think there's a physical keylogger attached to your computer, check the cable connections and the USB port to make sure that there's nothing unusual between your keyboard and the computer. And check if there's anything covering your keyboard that looks suspicious. To protect yourself from keyloggers, you should keep your software updated to close any security gaps, avoid clicking suspicious links or downloading files from unknown sources, consider using a password manager. Password managers can protect your sensitive information like your passwords through an autofill feature. Whenever you need to log on to your accounts, your password manager will automatically fill in your login information, meaning you won't need to manually type it. You can also enable two-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security, especially if part of that authentication uses another device or uses biometric authentication. Use antivirus or anti-malware programs to scan for keyloggers. And although encryption can help protect your data once it leaves your computer, it doesn't really stop a keylogger from capturing what you type before it's encrypted. So they're not really that useful in this case. But be cautious when using public or shared computers. Have a proper look at the keyboard to see if there isn't anything suspicious on it and try not to use public devices for online banking or for communicating sensitive information. Keyloggers may seem like a small problem, but they can cause some major damage by stealing your personal info and even leading to things like identity theft. But if you stay cautious online, use good security practices, and regularly scan your device, you can avoid the nasty keylogger. Stay smart, stay safe, and remember, your keyboard is private, so keep it that way. For more computer terms, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms, click on the subscribe button, and share us with your friends so you can support the channel. Also, don't forget we're on TikTok at Mr. Long Education, so follow us there as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.